Hello, beautiful people of God. I am Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. I am so glad, so excited to bring to you another episode of Life Jacket. Whoa, do you know that the goodness of the Lord, the faithfulness of the Lord, the mercy of the Lord, the grace of God is just too massive. We are seeing the evidence of God's goodness. We are seeing the evidence of God's faithfulness in our lives. I want to quickly remind you of what the word of God says in John 10 verse 10. That the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And Jesus was talking, said, But I am come that ye might have life and have it in abundance. A complete life, a full life, is the promise of God for us. And that's my prayer for you today. Whatever it's happening around your life, just keep reminding yourself of the promises of God concerning you. It's, he said abundant life and that, that speaks of a full life, that speaks of a complete life. So in case you are having any challenge that it, it appears like it's not going to end soon, hold on to the promise of God that says he is here to give to us and has given to us abundant life, full life, complete life. I pray for you today in case you've been going through any form of challenge. Complete life and a whole life means wholeness wholeness in your body and whatever you seem to do in life wholeness and completeness and that is your portion in the name of jesus you know the problem with a lot of persons today they still hold on to the past they hold on to the past they hold on to, to the devil is already haunting them with their past and that is why it's very difficult very very difficult for them to be able to actualize some things. You are not seeing the reality of what you are expecting from the Lord because you are still holding on to the past. Why not let it go? For many of us, the devil is still haunting us with our past. Listen, if the threefold ministry of the devil is to kill, to steal, and to destroy, don't hold on to the past. Let it go. Don't allow the past keep haunting you because a better version of you is about to emerge. Just keep holding on to God. Just keep trusting in the Lord. And you see what God will continue to do in your life and family. Listen, you know, the word of God says in verse 25 of Joel chapter 2. It says, all the years. All. It didn't say some. It said all the years that the caterpillar, the palmer worm, the canker worm has eaten. There shall be a restoration. So why are you worried when you know certainly God's words, His promise for us is that there shall be a restoration. Whatever you have lost, there shall be a restoration. And I pray this prayer for somebody today. Everyone watching me right now, whatever you have lost, whatever is missing in your life, there shall be a restoration in the name of Jesus. There shall be a restoration in the name of Jesus. This is the word for somebody today. This is the word I have pre I'm presenting to you today that there shall be a restoration in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, it's happening already in your life. If you believe it, it's happening already in your life. Whatever you have lost, whatever the devil has tampered with, whatever the enemy has hijacked in the name of Jesus, there shall be a restoration for you. And you begin to enjoy restoration in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you.